Hi there, this is Rob at Reason101.net and I'm here to show you another tutorial. Um, this time I'm going to try doing a bit of a Reese, um, Reese base or uh, trans lead, whatever the heck you want to call these things. Um, basically it's going to be a sawtooth, a bunch of sawtooth waveforms that are hooked up together to complete a uh, type of lead. And this comes out of a tutorial I saw from Hydelite, except I'm going to hopefully put my own little spin on it. So over here what we'll do is we'll create a combinator inside the combinator we will create a line mixer and then under, underneath that we're going to create a Thor and then underneath that we will create a Maelstrom and we will also under the Maelstrom we're going to hook that up to an ECF envelope control filter so let's open up the Thor um, we'll keep the analog patch we'll keep it as a sawtooth going to add two more analogs in here and they're both going to be sawtooth um, we'll send all of them through this one filter um, we will drop the octave of the second one and then drop the octave twice of the third so this octave is going to be octave two this one's going to be octave three this one's going to be octave four and that's going to be going through this filtering system we'll also turn up the drive because we will use this shaper a little later um, now let's just listen to it too bad. What we want to do is we do want to change the amp envelope a little bit. And then we want to detune it a little bit. Okay, so now that we've got that done, um, the next thing we're going to do is we're going to take the Maelstrom, and in the Maelstrom we are going to select, uh, go down until you see the Sawtooth 16, that's what you want. And we'll add those to both oscillators. Uh, or did I miss it? There it is, Sawtooth 16. Okay, turn on oscillator 2, um, again, down the We are going to drop the octaves down to where it's octave three for both of them. And we're also going to do two leaves. And we're also going to send them through to the filters. Okay. We'll spread it. So there you got a pretty decent lead. Okay, you got your filter working. Same thing here. Okay, so now what we'll do is we'll just start to program a little bit. We'll take the Thor filter. Um, first one we're going to do, we're going to call this the frequency. And actually, I will delete these out. Whoops. Okay, so the first one's going to be the frequency. So let's take rotary one. We'll take it to filter one frequency. We're also going to select the maelstrom on this, or sorry, we're going to select filter one, which is your ECF filter. We're going to take the frequency, and um, these are both going to be zero to one twenty-seven. <laughs> Okay, now the other little thing that I did was a slight little trick, but I took the CV1 output, sent it down to the decay CV of the filter, boosted all the way up, and then I believe, whoops, take the mod envelope, put it up, put it to the destination, is going to be your CV output one. <laughs> So that gives a slight little wobble there, so we'll keep that. Um, now, the other thing is, over here, what we'll do is we'll change this to be the resonance. And to do that, I will take the Thor 
Uh, again with the filter, we're going to take filter one resonance, but we're going to reduce that to about 90 or so. Okay. At the same time, we'll take the Maelstrom, and we will take uh, two instances of Rotary 2. Uh, first one's going to be filter A resonance. I don't know why they did these backwards. It should be filter A up here and then filter B down here, but anyway, whatever. Okay, and um, just for these, I'm going to do just a little bit. So just do it up to like maybe about 30, 30 35. It's pretty good. Something like that. So I'm going to play with the resonance a little bit. And move the velocity up a little bit too on the thorn. So that you can play it softly and loudly. Okay. Soft and loud on that. Um, over here, what I will do is I'm going to add the shift parameter. And the shifting is on the Maelstrom. Uh, what this is going to do, it's going to shift both of um, these two shift knobs here for oscillator A and oscillator B. So back up we go. Um, we're going to take two instances of rotary 3. And we're going to take oscillator A shift and oscillator B. Later B shift, and I'm going to set this to zero and leave that at 63. So now I don't know, I just like that effect, so I'm just going to keep that. Um, now, over here, what I'm going to do is I'm going to do two things I'm going to do shaper one, and then over here, I'm going to do shaper two. Okay, and this is where we're going to get into the shaper. Now, if you turn the shaper on, see how that affects the sound? It gives it that kind of overdrive. Um, so we'll turn to the Thor, and for the button one, we will go to the shaper, and we will turn it on or off. And the Maelstrom, we're going to do the same thing, except that I'm going to turn the Maelstrom's shaper amount to about 106 or so. It's going to be a sine wave and we're just going to turn on the shaper here. So let's go Maelstrom and then that's going to be for button 2 and then we're going to turn the shaper on and off. Okay. So that's one thing you can do as well. Um, might want to tweak the light. Okay, that's a little bit better. There we go. Okay, and one last thing you can do um, on the Thor, we're going to create a unison device. Just to give it a little bit of uh, some room. And then over here, we'll tie this to the unison dry wet knob. So let's just select the unison and go to the um, rotary 4. And this is going to be the dry wet mix. So you can turn it off, or you can turn it on, or you can have it any mix in between. That's how I would create a lead, a trance lead, um, that will um, help you out. Hopefully you find this interesting, and uh, if you want, if you visit my site, or if you're already on there, because I'm going to post this video on there, um, you will have this available to download. Um, what I call this is Reese's Pieces. That's the essence of it. And uh, So go to my site, you can download this. And again, I'm Rob at Reason101.net. Thanks a lot for listening.